This is part 9 of Bootstrap tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss Bootstrap typography. What is Bootstrap typography? Bootstrap typography makes it easy to create headings, paragraphs, ordered lists, unordered lists, inline elements, etc. in a way that would be appealing to the users. Let's start with headings. HTML provides us heading elements H1 through H6. If we view this HTML in the browser without Bootstrap, this is how those heading elements will be rendered. I have this exact same HTML already typed and look at the reference to Bootstrap style sheet. This is commented. So if we view this page in the browser, look at how those HTML elements are rendered using the browser defaults. With Bootstrap, the same header elements will be rendered using Bootstrap defaults like this. So let's uncomment the reference to the Bootstrap style sheet, save our changes, reload our page, look at how those heading elements are rendered using the Bootstrap defaults. Along with these heading elements, Bootstrap also provides classes H1 through H6. These classes are useful when you want to match the font styling of a heading but still want your text to be displayed in line. Let's understand what we mean by this with an example. Notice here we've got some text and look at this word bootstrap. This is present inside H4 element. Since H4 is a block element, the word bootstrap is rendered as if there is a line break before and after that word. I have the same HTML already typed here. So let's uncomment this HTML and look at the word bootstrap that is present inside H4 element. So when we reload this page, look at that word bootstrap. This is rendered as if there's a line break before and after it. Now what we want to do is display that word bootstrap in line with the rest of the text, but we want the styling of H4 element. To achieve that, we can use the bootstrap classes that are available. So I am going to use here H4 class. And this is going to make that word bootstrap in line with the rest of the text. Let's look at this in action. So instead of using H4, I'm going to use a span element and I'm going to set its class to H4. Let's save our changes and when we reload this, the word bootstrap should be in line with the rest of the text, but we should still get the styling of H4 element. Now, let's look at another example. What we want to do is display all the headings H1 through H6 in a single row like this. Now to do this, if we use the heading elements H1 through H6, then since these are block elements, we are going to have those elements rendered as if there is a line break before and after. So here we have that same HTML. So here we are using those heading elements. When we reload this page, look at what's going to happen. We get those headings in a separate line. Now if you want them in the same line, instead of using the heading elements, use the classes H1 to H6. And this is going to give us all the headings in a single line like this. So let's look at this in action. I'm going to uncomment this. And when we reload, we should get headings in a single line. To create a lighter secondary text along with the main text in any heading, use either small tag or small class. So this is what we want to do. Notice we have got a main heading and we have a lighter secondary text as well. Now to get this lighter secondary text that you see next to every heading element that we have here, we can achieve that using either the small tag or small class. Let's look at the HTML required. So we have the heading elements and inside heading elements, we have nested the small tag and inside that we want the text which we want to be lighter. So that's what is rendered like this next to every heading element. So here we're using the small tag. Instead of the small tag, you can also use small class like this. So I have this HTML again already typed here. So let's uncomment the HTML. And when we view the page in the browser, we should get you know, the main headings and the small headings. In our next video, we'll discuss working with paragraph elements. Thank you for listening and have a great day.